There are four main components. There's a compressor, an expander, a countercurrent heat exchanger, and a burner, a combustor. So those are the main components, and um, could you describe each component just briefly? Sure. The compressor takes air and squeezes it to a higher pressure, uh, maybe six atmospheres or so. And then you uh, put it through the countercurrent heat exchanger so the air gets hot, it's preheated. And then you put fuel in the combustor so it gets even hotter. And then once you have this hot, high pressure air, you put it through an expander. Uh, in the process of expansion, you extract work from it. Uh, it comes out of that expander still pretty hot, and you take the, that heat, that waste heat, put it through the countercurrent heat exchanger, and cool it down and pull that waste heat back into the engine. Sounds good. What do you think makes your engine different from like the average uh, Ford pickup that's outside? Well, the, there's really two major differences. One is the hardware. Uh, we use a rotary device rather than pistons that go up and down. Uh, the conventional engine uses a piston to compress the air and a piston to expand the air. Uh, the problem with that is that the mass is shifting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It limits the speed that you can run it. Uh, and also, it's hard to get a large volume of gas processed by these pistons. Uh, so, the, so the hardware is one difference. The other is the thermodynamic cycle. The uh, conventional automobile engine uses what's called the Otto cycle, whereas the star rotor engine is using the Brayton cycle. The Brayton cycle is the same cycle used in a jet aircraft. So I, I, what I'd like to do is put a jet engine in everybody's car. Everybody's car. That's, that's the trademark. All right.